Welcome. My name is Mrs Lewis and I am Director of Performing Arts here at Bede Senior School. Now you're here because you enjoy drama, music or dance, or perhaps you enjoy two of those subjects, or maybe all three. You might be somebody who enjoys working as part of a team, working practically on your feet, problem solving creatively, and performing in front of an audience, or maybe just backstage helping with costume and makeup. Well, you're in the right place at Beads. We've got a vast array of opportunities for you to get stuck into performing arts. Right from the off, you may decide to dip your toes into an activity, become a, a bead singer or enjoy an acting masterclass. You may have already chosen to study drama or dance as part of your curriculum throughout the year. Or you might have chosen the carousel in which music is a part of. And I'm sure our director of music Mr. Scarmadella will talk about that in a moment. You could be someone who is very seriously minded about the performing arts and you see that as something that you want to jump into feet first. Well, I can promise you that throughout your time at Beads and certainly in year nine, you will have the opportunity to do so. We demand a commitment from our students who really want to get involved and we have a great opportunity for you to show off your skills, talents and enthusiasm. So although we're in a, a very strange world at the moment, we will plan some opportunities for you to get involved. I'm going to hand you over now to Mrs Murphy, who is our Head of Dance. Thank you. My name is Mrs Murphy and I am Head of Dance at Senior School. I will have met lots of you already um, involved in lots of the different prep dance shows and I'm really excited that you're all going to be coming up to the senior school and I hope to see as many of you as possible performing in our dance studios. Now we have a variety of options for you throughout your time at Beads. Some of you will have already auditioned to become part of the Legat programme and you'll be in our dance studios for many hours throughout the week and we'll be doing lots of productions together. For some of you, you would like to carry on with dancing, but maybe not so much as a, a full-time commitment. And for those of you, we have a programme called Open Dance, in which you'll be able to get involved in ballet classes, contemporary classes, jazz classes, and musical theatre classes throughout the week and the years. Um, I'll be available at the activities fair in the first week of term to be able to talk to you about what that programme entails and what all of that means. But just know that throughout your time at Beads, there'll be lots of different opportunities for you to get involved in the dance studios and the dance programme. When you move through from year nine up into the lower fifth, you will all have the opportunity to study BTEC Performing Arts Dance Level 2. And then when you go into the sixth form, you will all have the opportunity to study BTEC Performing Arts Dance Level 3, if you wish to. And those courses are all practically based follow lots of ballet, contemporary dance, musical theatre, jazz, and most importantly, choreography, in which you'll be able to continue your performance and continue your training of dance. So we have a mixed bag, lots of different pathways and lots of different options for you to choose from, but I'll be there in the dance studios, I'll be there in the drama studios and in the performing arts faculty all the time for you to come and ask questions um, and for me to tell you a little bit more about it. I'm now going to pass you over to Mrs Scarmadella, Director of Music. Well, thank you very much indeed, Mrs Murphy, and um, welcome everyone. And in addition to Mrs Lewis and Mrs Murphy, um, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the Senior School. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Mr Scamardella and I'm the Director of Music at the Senior School. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit um, through the various programmes and what we have on offer in the music department, and of which essentially there are three things. <clears throat> and first of all, I'm going to talk to you about co-curricular music, music that happens outside the timetable. And many of you, I'm sure, have heard or indeed performed in cabaret. And cabaret is uh, an amazing celebration of all uh, that is brilliant about music, about drama and about dance at Beads. And that happens in uh, late November, early December. And that's one of our blue chip events, as we like to call it, in our performing arts calendar. 
there are various activities on offer for you to really get stuck in. And if you love singing and music theatre singing, then bead singers or cabaret singers is for you. And in addition to cabaret singers, we have an elite all-girl jazz choir. And we also have an elite all-boy barbershop group as well, for those of you who really love um, singing in close harmony. For those of you who are instrumentalists, we have orchestra and jazz band, and these are all on a Tuesday afternoon. And then for those of you who really love recording, music technology, garage band, Logic Pro, Mr. Hopkins in our music technology suite is the man for you to go to on a Tuesday and a Thursday afternoon. And you can find out all about working um, with all of that uh, technology and software. <clears throat> I mentioned cabaret, but also in our musical year, we have Evensong. Just prior to lockdown, we weren't able to go this year, but we were going to sing choral Evensong at the old uh, Royal Naval College Chapel in Greenwich and with the chapel choir there um, in March. If you're an instrumentalist or you're a singer, we've got a whole host of junior concerts. Uh, and as I say, the jazz band performs throughout the year. We've also got other things like, as I've mentioned, the cabaret concert band. We've got the jazz band. We've got chamber music, piano based chamber music and string based chamber music with our fantastic cello teacher, Mr. Giddy. We've got woodwind and saxophone groups with Miss Greg and Mr. Savage. We've got junior and senior jazz with Mr. Hilton on a Thursday afternoon. And, th and that's for those of you who love jazz harmony and improvisation. And I mentioned we've got cabaret singers, we've got chamber choir, we've got jazz choir, and we've got barbershop. For those of you who are looking to study music in the first year, as well as perhaps getting involved in a co-curricular um, sphere, the music in the first year programme is on the creative carousel. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about what those things are that we study there. Film music is one, and then we look at 12 bar blues, and then music for special events. So those three main topics that we explore in, in the first year at the senior school. And the music program in the senior school is aimed at equipping you with the listening, the composing and the practical skills that you need to embark on GCSE music. But for those of you who just want to do it for appreciation and enjoyment, there is a strong appreciation element, appreciation element, sorry, for those students that want to deepen their study of music just because they enjoy it. And that course is also tailored for those of you who just want to get something out in that way. And then I'm going to introduce you briefly to our instrumental and vocal lessons timetable um, uh, with all our visiting music teachers. And I can tell you that all the mainstream instruments are taught, as I'm sure you would expect. So if you're a pianist, you can study either with me, with Mr. Hilton, or with Mr. Green. And if you're a singer, um, it's really important that we've got three fantastic singing teachers at the senior school. So if you've got a music theatre interest and you really love getting on the stage, treading the boards, Miss Collins is the lady that you want to go to. She's fantastic. If you're a singer songwriter, if you love work, <clears throat> working with your guitar, working with piano chords, harmony and singing at the same time, then Miss Wallace is the lady for you to go to. And if you like rock and pop singing and you want to be the next Adele, then Mr. Koshevsky is the man for you. But we've also got a whole host of other wonderful teachers from brass through to strings, through to woodwind to cater for your needs. So I'm very much looking forward to welcoming you in September in person. Um, and until now, stay safe and stay well. And I'm now going to pass on to Mr. Chothramani, who is the head of academic drama. Thank you, Mr. Scarmadella. So a warm welcome to all of you. I hope you're looking forward to coming to Beads uh, in the senior school uh, in September, and we're looking forward to welcoming you. And welcoming back those of you who joined us for BE days over this academic year and managed to come and taste an experience of what Beads drama is all about. Now, in terms of my job, what I look after is the academic programme in, in drama. So I look after the first years, I look after the GCSE programmes and the A-level drama that we eventually do in the sixth form. 
Now, in terms of the opportunities for the first years in that, that programme for drama, what we don't actually do is uh, participate in part of the carousel. For those of you who've received your options forms this week and are looking to do drama, we'll actually be doing drama instead of one of the carousels, which means really excitingly for three hours a fortnight you'll be doing nothing but drama and not switching when other uh, students may be switching through other parts of a carousel what can you look forward to well part of that year nine program is going to be uh, about learning about design about costume about working with our wonderful technician ben phelps uh, who will be um, talking about music, about uh, sound design, about lighting. We have Miss Colin who works with us in terms of costume. But obviously, as a drama student, the heart of what you do is going to be performance. You're going to have a chance to experience a devising piece of work. You're going to have the chance to experience scripted pieces of work and one of the highlights for I by the time you get to Easter uh, we will be holding a beads final event for those of you who are studying drama where we will do a public performance uh, of the finalists who will be selected to go on to the regional finals within the southeast and if selected then going on to the national finals and in the past we have always had someone go forward to that national level ever since the competition was set up so that's what you've got to look forward to in terms of the academic programme. And it does offer an excellent foundation for anyone who wants to do GCSE drama, but obviously you don't have to go on to do it. It could be just what you get out of doing drama in the first year is building your confidence, working as a team, doing something practical that's not a subject behind a desk. And if that's something that you would like to experience, even if you don't want to go on to the GCSE, then first year drama is what you should be looking to opt for. Alongside the academic programme, we also have something called Lambda. Some of you will be very familiar with Lambda having done it at the prep school, but it is very different when it comes to the first year. In the first year and throughout the senior school, Lambda here is offered with the expertise of Ms. Conlon. She offers a range of different courses. Just looking at my list here, acting, Shakespeare, verse and prose, reading for performance, public speaking, and all of those, musical theatre, they're all offered to you either individually for one-to-one -one tuition, where for 30 minutes every week you come and have expert tuition with Miss Conlon, or you can choose to do it with a friend as a pair. Uh, so you get, instead of that whole group experience, you get expertise from one person dedicated to you throughout, your, throughout the weeks where you're doing the course. And we offer all levels, it doesn't matter if you've not done it before, it doesn't matter if you're already at the top of your game, you're, you're at a level four at the moment, five, six, we can take you right through up to the gold medals. Uh, and we've had incredible success with our students who choose to do that. So I'm gonna pass you back now to Mrs. Lewis and she's gonna to talk to you about uh, some of the other opportunities that we have for you. Wow, that sounds amazing. Thank you all, thank you, Mr. Chotramani. Um, I wish I was a student again. <laughs> what a fantastic place to be um, coming to in September. There's such a lot there uh, and nobody has um, any excuses not to get involved in something at Beads. You can see what's on offer in performing arts, but you might be wondering how you get involved. And I know that's something that many of you might be feeling a bit concerned about. Well, we have something called an activities fair which takes place in the first few weeks of your arrival at Beads. And the activities fair takes over our large sports centre and each department has a stall, if you, if you like. And what we do is we will there um, market all of the things that you can sign up for. We can also talk through all the opportunities. So for example, hearing about the wonderful cabaret, you may wish to go and speak to Mr. Salmadella and some of his team to inquire as to what role you may like to do and certainly what role you think you may like to audition for. So let's talk a bit about the auditions. If you think you're someone who may sing a solo, it might be a good idea to use the summer holidays to choose one of your favourite songs. Um, learn a, a verse and a chorus from that song, a song that really shows off your personality and your voice to its best. And when you come to Beads, you will see an audition date and time in which you can come along and share with us that song. 
And it doesn't matter if you don't get a solo because again, as Mr. Scarmadella pointed out, there are lots of ensemble groups you could be part of as well, but why not have a go? You may also like to be involved in a musical theatre piece at Cabaret, but you've either had a bit of dancing experience or not at all. Well, we would like to help you a little bit in your preparation for that audition by giving you a piece of choreography to learn, a short piece of choreography. So we urge you to look out in the next few weeks on our website for details of a recording in which you can practice throughout the summer and come armed, ready to audition. And again, the audition date will be advertised when you arrive at Weed School. Scholars, now we've got quite a number of you who are coming on a scholarship to performing arts. Now it could be a drama, dance or music scholarship or perhaps a, com a combination of two of those. The Scholars Programme is designed to enable you to really have a thoroughly um, in-depth education within your specific discipline or disciplines. And what we ask is for your thorough commitment from the word go. You're here as a role model to others and you are here to audition for everything, to show enthusiasm, but also we're here to support you, to navigate your path throughout your time at Beads, and obviously to make sure you have the best start possible. So please, we ask that you communicate with us when you arrive at Beads about any opportunities that you're desperate to get started with. And the way we will do that to start with is we are going to have a meeting for all new scholars to meet all the heads of uh, performing arts and myself and we'll talk through again all of the opportunities but it gives you a chance to perhaps have a little chat with us if you would like to talk through something. Another opportunity coming up in the advent term for year nine are auditions for our junior school show that will be taking place in the summer term. We'll be auditioning around October, November to get started straight away um, in rehearsals from January. So that's very exciting. And again, look out for information when you start in September. It's been an absolute pleasure welcoming you today. And I really hope you enjoy listening to all of the information that all of the subjects have on offer. But most of all, I wish you a happy, and safe summer and I really do look forward to seeing you when you start in September.